Hello and welcome to an Irish tutorial on Progeneration. In this tutorial we will go over the prerequisites for Progeneration and some general issues, and the actual usage of the Progeneration command, the Progeneration GUI, and the benefits of Progeneration in the end. So first you will want to have created the world, which is of course the most important step, which you can do either by running IR create and the name of the world here, or you can create, or you can overwrite the world, the main world, with the bucket.yml trick to ensure that your world does not does not go corrupt because multiverse might uh, might break at some point. At the bottom of your bucket.yml, you'll want to add these three lines. You can find these on the wiki in the, with using a link in the right bottom of the screen. First, you specify worlds and then the name of the world, which is in our case pregen, as you can see. Oops, as you can see here, if I run ir. Uh, our empty list, you can see that their pregen world has been loaded, which is the world I've created for this tutorial. If you are just overriding the main world, you will want to specify world here. And then lastly, you will specify generator IRS here, and you will save the file and close this window. Make sure you restart the server after you've done these changes. I already have. Then next off, uh, you will need at least four gigabytes of RAM on your server, because uh, IRS uses quite a bit of RAM to uh, cache all of the objects. Otherwise, if the RAM room is full, you might run into issues where, are, where there are cut off, um, cut off trees and village buildings and, and whatnot. So make sure you have plenty of space in your RAM there. Then the second thing that you want to definitely take care of is that there are no players on the server at the time you're generating. Loading chunks, unloading chunks, having giant farms like running, um, all of these things will contribute to your server being more loaded. And since Iris uses a lot of resources from your server, having more things loaded on there already may decrease stability and may increase the chance of some issues occurring during, during the generation of the world. All right, now we'll get into generating the world itself. So you'll want to go ahead and run the IR pregen command. This command, as shown in the usage here, will generate your world um, with a radius. I'll show you what the radius means. So if you say, for example, you want to generate a 1000 by 1000 world, then you'll specify 500. Why is that, you might ask? That's because the radius you're specifying isn't actually uh, both of the sides, but it's only only one of the sides. So if you specify one, you specify 500, you'll actually get 2, 000, 2 times 500, uh, 1000, in both of the directions, where the middle here is 0, 0. You can, of course, also scale this up to be larger. For servers between, uh, for survival servers with players between um, 25 and 30 at all times, I recommend um, between 15 and 20,000 uh, blocks in, in the command here. And you will never need more than 40,000 or um, or 50,000 if you have very very large servers with a lot of players that like to explore. For the sake of this tutorial, however, we'll just stick with the 500 number I showed just now, uh, so degeneration is uh, done quickly. So we'll be running IR pregen 500, and then we'll have to specify the name of the world because we're running this command from the console. In our case, that's pregen. But if you're running this command in game, you will not have to specify this last word here, uh, but you'll just um, IRS will just pick the world that you're currently in. Currently in. After you run the command, IRS will start indexing the chunks. Already. There are there are two different. Chunks. One is a dark uh, reddish color, and one is the dark green color. The dark red color is um, is indicating that there are only chunks in this area that have been generated. And the green are areas in which no chunks already exist. You can see the direct fast. generating to MCA region, which is a lot faster than mine from the last generation, even if passing, um, passing it on to Iris. As you can see here, I was getting between 30 and 40 chunks per second. Of course, it has to take some time caching new object files if they're if the if it's switching to a new region. But it'll really bounce back up to 40 uh, chunks per second. And I'm running this on a laptop, so that's not going to be great. Uh, but yours will definitely run on a better server. This direct mode has to be turned off before you start generating. So you want to head back into the settings file that I'll show that I showed you. Uh, that I didn't show yet because that was the bucket file file. You want to head into the settings file, which is found in the server under the plugins. 
iris and then inside here you'll find the settings.json file in which you see MCA per generator. This has to be turned to true to be able to optimally make it, take advantage of this, uh, of this system. We're going to wait, wait a hot second for this to finish so we can show you what happens after the generation of the region files is done. And there's this last region which isn't completely yet because there's So currently we're again writing directly to MCA region files, which is a lot faster than what we're what we're about to see. We're now still getting between 30 and 40 chunks per second. But then as soon as this region file is done, IRS will switch to as you can see here, paper async, which is an asynchronous generation system that paper uses, which is still quite fast. But as you can see, I'm only getting well, actually getting quite good re quite good results, but there's probably already finding chunks that have uh, already been generating and skipping them. So it's only going down to about uh, between 20, between 10 and 20, and um, maybe that's not a much of a difference in, in the small scale. But if you're generating very large areas, then having a decrease in 50 or, 50 or maybe even more percent, then uh, you'll definitely see a lot of uh, a high increase of the time it takes for your world to generate. After a world has been created, you can immediately notice a difference in the speed at which chunks are sent to the player. As you can see, these chunks are being sent to me only, and they no longer have to be generated by the server, which is, as you can see, quite a lot faster. If you look on our F3 screen, however, as soon as we approach the 500, um, 500 uh, blocks mark, we'll see that the chunks have no longer are no longer already generated, and they will take a lot longer of a time to generate. Any second now. As you can see here, the chunks are being generated quite a lot slower since we're flying out to um, well beyond the area that we've been generating already. And IRS is trying its best to generate the chunks as fast as possible for you, but it's still quite a lot slower. And as you can imagine, I'm only with one player here on a brand new server with no plugins. Um, uh, so if you're running more plugins and more players at the same time, then um, having your world generated already is uh, a major advantage in terms of performance. I hope this tutorial was useful. If there are any questions, feel free to reach out to me or other people on the support team on our on the Discord, on the support Discord. The link will be in the description of this video. Thank you.